Now let's talk about the suite of technologies that make Civilization 3.0 possible. The first is what I call mobile real estate. We're also advancing in the area of what Google's Astro Teller calls mobile infrastructure, even movable cities. First, there are settled communities with a very light footprint. We're investing in the technologies to nourish ourselves without destabilizing the environment. The Dutch, for example, have a national circular strategy. And towns that collect rainwater and do wastewater treatment and recycling, they have solar power and hydro and aquaponic agriculture. Okay, small and mobile villages. That sounds good for millions of people. What about for hundreds of millions of people? What about places like Cairo? Cairo faces insufficient Nile River water while Alexandria faces a rising Mediterranean Sea. The people of Alexandria and Cairo need desalination and they need more efficient crop irrigation. But beware of spending billions of dollars on irrigation to sustain agriculture in places where the water supply is at risk and the delicate range of air temperature that's right for growing food. Ultimately, many people in Egypt will have to relocate. Skyscrapers could well become the stranded assets and detritus of our present civilization, like the pyramids of ancient Egypt. Or they may become air-conditioned shelters, part of an archipelago of mixed-use facilities, all within a domed city, which is exactly what's being planned for parts of Dubai. If we stay where we are, we are at best a survival society. Instead, we should move and we should build anew.